Well, hello to you all and welcome to another video. My name is Nigel, also known as a Lake Erie Vlogger. And today we're looking at sh uh, ships on the Great Lakes. And I'm starting off with a great one already. <laughs> I've literally just launched here at Port Coburn. And there's a ship moored up here actually unloading uh, its content here at Sugar Mill, uh, Sugar Loaf Mill, I should say. Uh, so anyway, I'm here and the Blair McNeil is already here and she's unloading. So we'll have a little quick ride out there. I think the wind is light enough for me to get the drone up. So we'll get the drone up as well. And we'll get some nice shots. So here we go. Now, this is what I like about being out on the sea view. I got to get really close up, really close up to these ships when I'm out here. And uh, you're really talking like you can touch them if you wanted to. Now, from what I gather, this ship came in from Hamilton a couple of days ago and she was just moored up over uh, yesterday in Port Coburn and then came around here later on. So, I'm not sure what she's unloading here. Whatever it is, it looks pretty dusty. All right, you'll see in a moment when I get the drone up, she's not actually unloading, she's actually being loaded. Uh, the ship is here to be loaded with long grain wheat. I think that's what it was. Alright, I tell you what, we'll uh, we'll just moor up one of these moorings over here and uh, we'll see if we can get the drone up quickly and uh, have a good look at this. Sadly right now the sun's still on the other side of me. The Blair McKeel is a general cargo vessel that operates under the Canadian flag. The Blair McKeel vessel itself was built in 2010 by a Tuzla shipbuilding industry in Istanbul, Turkey and has been part of the McKeel's marine versatile fleet serving a wide variety of cargoers into shallow draft ports. The company was founded by Evans McKeel who started the enterprise with a hand-built wooden boat used to support the building of the St. Lawrence Seaway back in 1956. The vessel is named after the son of Evans McKeel, Blair McKeel, who became president of the company back in 1992. The Blair McKeel is described as a modern shallow draft gearless bulker with two cargo holds that combine for a 15,000 metric tons deadweight capacity. It is equipped with grain bulkheads and cement loading ports which allows it to carry a wide variety of cargoes into shallow draft ports. The overall length of the ship is 139.95 meters with a breadth of 21 meters. The molded depth is 10.6 meters with a summer draft of 7.78 meters and the gross tonnage is 9,286 tons and the cargo capacity is 15,962 cubic meters. I may have pronounced the name incorrectly before, it is actually McKeel, not McNeil. I've heard several people say McNeil as well, but it's McKeel. So my apologies uh, for saying McNeil instead of McKeel. Anyway, enjoy the drone shots.
at all the rust on this thing. I think she needs a bit of a lick of paint. Did I call it McNeil a minute ago? It's McKeel. I don't know why I call it McNeil, so. How you doing? <laughs> Good. What was that? Oh, it sure is. What you unloading? Long green. All right. I'll have a video out later on. <laughs> yeah. So they're just unloading long grain here at uh, Sugar, Loaf, uh, Sugar uh, Loaf Mill. Long grain. So I totally misheard him when I was out on the water and actually misheard him whilst editing. And eventually I heard what he actually said. Uh, it's not long grain, it's loading grain, wheat grain. So I believe that's what he said, loading wheat grain. As I say, look at the rust on this. McKeel. I don't know why I said McNeil. It's McKeel. All right, so there you have it. That is uh, the Blair McKeel. And she's actually not unloading, she's actually loading long grain into her holes, as you can see from the, dr uh, the drone shots. So they've got a few hours to go, no doubt. It's a long process, as you can see, uh, from the drone shots. Uh, so there's two or three more big bulkheads to uh, fill up yet. Uh, so anyway, uh, that was fascinating getting the drone over there and actually having a good look and seeing it actually being blown right into there. So that was really cool. So anyway, I'm not sure where she's going to after this, but like I said, she came in from Hamilton. Uh, she's been here for a couple of days, and now she's going to be going back out probably later on tonight or tomorrow. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please make sure you give it a like and a thumbs up or whatever it is, and make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate it. And uh, I'll be back very shortly with another video. Until then, take care. Oh, look at it. Here she comes. What a great looking ship that is. Hey, full throttle now as he pushes out onto the lake. Look at that smokestack.